what the heck happened to me? <laughs> I have not been um, recording because I got so frustrated with this uh, recording and uploading videos to uh, YouTube that I just was like, ugh, Atkan. I had it up to here, as they say. Um, and I have a blister. I just got rid of it. And so just know that I am recording because... I'm very happy of how many people who have sent me messages, and I'm really happy about that. So thanks for that. Um, just ignore this. Can I talk like this? I'm so sorry, but I just felt like I had to do this before I forget and I get caught up in life again. Um, right now is the time of year where either you decide on sending your children to a different school, re-registering, which is... Uh, February, but uh, spot, spot. in the month of Shvat is when we register, or we uh, reapply or, you know, whatever you need to do for your school. Maybe I should do it like this because that's like really bothering me. Um, so today I had to take my daughter for an interview. So I had to make sure I'm all dressed exactly right and everything is here and here and here and skirt length is the right length and not all my bum makeup you know because you don't know like how the school's going to hold um so i had to do that today and it was actually in goula and it's in the part of goula which is very Haredi, um where you see like whatever you envision uh ultra orthodox uh jews that's it that's the neighborhood um, so anyway, the school is there. So I went there and it was great and I hope she gets in and uh, that's all for that. It is freezing cold outside. Um, some asked me about my life of living in Israel. Please, please, please look at the channels that the videos that I've already uploaded and ask specific questions. I am on Facebook, uh, but I'm not public. Um, but um, if you want to ask questions about Aliyah or something like that, be specific. I will say this, anybody that wants to make Aliyah, whatever you think of the wonderful feeling of Israel, get it out of your head. If you've met Israelis and you like the way they are and the way they talk and the way they deal with problems and how they are, that's Israel. That is Israel. That's all of it. The holiness is here too. We have so many places to done, but everybody's about getting down to business here in Israel. And um, I, I say this because I have a friend. Um, she is not happy in Israel. And I, I'm sorry we're getting dark, but I have, I'm making onion rings right now. Um, she is not happy here in Israel. And I, I decided I, I can't put effort into people who, when they first came, was already thinking, already thinking about going back to America. Um, I can't put effort in. It's too much. It's very emotional for me because I invest a lot of my uh, strength, my koach, in helping people to stay and live here in Israel. And I think whatever you perceive Israel to be, you need to really like join as many Facebook groups as you can to learn about Israel. Uh, in how people speak, um, what the complaints are. Like, I hear people say, should I bring toilet paper? Those people I don't talk to. Really? Really? That's your main thing about making Aliyah to Israel is, do we have toilet paper? Means you know nothing about Israel. I'm so upset a little bit about the whole thing because um, there are a lot of Americans going back because they can't make it in Israel. And I think they just obviously had no clue what they were getting involved in when they moved here. It's a different culture. It is not going to be the same. It's not going to be anything like America um, in a sense that, except that you're going to meet other Americans. I love it here. I, I really do. I think, I don't know, maybe because I'm a, uh, a person of color from America and there we all about business. We get things done. We, we don't um, uh, use a lot of pe pleasantries to get our point across. We say what we mean and that's it. And that is Israel. That is Israel. Learn the language. Learning the language is so important. So important. My, my language skills are still not good. But I can communicate. I can talk. I sound just like an immigrant. But they appreciate that I try. They appreciate that. And I, I, I work very hard to blend in. 
I mean, I'm not going to blend in so much, but as far as they, they get past that, but my, how I dress my, my community of what community that I'm in, which is I'm Haredi, I'm Haredi Orthodox Jew, and I have to dress the part. If I want my kids to be accepted and I want to be accepted, that's just the way it is. Um, but also at the same time, I have secular friends too, which they aren't necessarily in my world, but I go into their world um, because I'm cool like that. I, I really am. I could be with everybody and still be grounded in who I am and who my family is. Um, uh, you know, everybody's been talking about the elections, and I'm so like, and we're not going to even talk about Trump, and we're not going to talk about the past president or anything like that, and I am, and people are really on me about the whole Muslim ban thing in America, and I can't say that I'm on board with that. I, I cannot say that I'm okay with brushing every Muslim with the same brush as terrorism, because it's not true. I live here in Israel. I live among uh, Muslims. Arabs. I live among Arabs and I have to say everybody isn't bad. I don't know who's bad. I, there's a very small few, I think, and they just make such a huge impact on the rest of the world. And, and here too, I, I, I cannot say all Muslims. If I was to say ban all Muslims out of America, who's to say that I, that I would be upset with someone to say ban all blacks? Bla bla um, uh, ban all Chinese, uh, ban all Japanese. I mean, you remember our history. You remember American history, right? Like, we're going back down that road again. So I am saying, as an Israeli Jew living in Israel, that I cannot say I am okay with banning all Muslims out of America based on crazy people who like to blow themselves up with a lot of other people. I, I can't. I, I can't because it, it, it just, it's not, it's not feasible. I can't believe that God would make a whole group of people terrorists. terrorists. It's just not possible. Anyway, well, anything's possible, but he, I don't think he did that. Hashem's all good. So he would not make people with brains in their whole existence is to blow people up. It, it, it's just, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. So that's all I'm going to say. I hope this uploads. I will try and send another one uh, later. Sorry about this. I, I, I know you see it. Like, it really is nothing. Next time I glide, I mean, do another video, it'll be fine. I thank you so much for looking at my channel. I'm sorry if I didn't talk about anything that you really wanted to hear today. I just wanted to get on and say thanks for subscribing and Pass it on, Neshama, soul, my channel. Like, subscribe. Thank you so much, and talk to you later. Have a great day.